Well, hello, New Life, and everyone that's joining us for our 30 days of prayer. It is August 12th, and I felt like just the other day I was doing the first video for August 1st. This month has flown by. Um, first full week of school for me, so if you want to throw a prayer my way, you, you can. It, it's, it's been a wonderful start. Um, I've got uh, two more classes today. I had my first class this morning, but it's been a wonderful start. All right, August 12th, and these uh, five days from August 11th through August 15th are going to be prayers for deliverance, and today's prayer is deliverance from polarization. Romans 12, 18 instructs us, if it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. We must focus on our shared humanity and engage with people through love, promoting peace with everyone. You know, um, the plan for Satan for this time period that we're living in is simple. The plan is to divide and the plan is to tell us to hate this group or that group. And um, it's a really easy thing to fall into. We're not supposed to as a Christian, we're supposed to, you know, I shared this morning in my class, you know, um, you know, God said to love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, and then love your neighbor as yourself. And your neighbors, all those people that not necessarily look like you or have the same language or have the same uh, religion as you, but they're the, the you know the, the parable of the Good Samaritan teaches us that our neighbor is everyone, especially those that are different from you, especially those that the world is trying to tell you to hate. So we don't need to fall in that trap as Christians, and it's easy to do, and I've done it. I'm not saying I'm perfect in it. Um, social media and the media and Hollywood and everything is screaming at us to divide based on identity politics. And um, my prayer is that as Christians that we would follow the words of Jesus, as I just mentioned, and not fall into that trap and that we would live at peace, as Romans uh, 12, 18 talks about that we would be people of peace and that we would live at peace with everyone. Life sure goes better. Uh, life in conflict is so fun, and I think we all know that. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you for another opportunity to pray, another opportunity to come before you. Father God, I pray for this nation. I know that we are in need of repentance. Repentance is the call of the hour. Father God, we repent for our divisions. We repent for our attitudes. We repent for hate. We, depend, we repent for being deceived. And Father God, we desire to return to you, to return to your word, and to live at peace. Father God, I, I pray that there would be a spirit of unity and peace that would come over this nation, and that you would deliver this nation from the polarization that this nation has fallen under. Father God, we love you, we praise you, and we give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Well, I've got a lot to do on my plate today. I'm sure you do too. Thank you for taking a minute or two to join me in this prayer, and uh, I'll see you via video tomorrow. God bless.